so uh, as usual, our meeting will be streamed and it will be posted following the council agenda. Uh, is there any disclosure between your and the Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to public hearing. Um, so under the provisions of notice file 2016-08, um, our notice of public hearing was um, about that council um, is considering a request from the BFRJs, the local men's league baseball team, for an exemption to municipal bylaw 1189-96 from the most final. Um, this exemption will permit the Eskimo annual mixed slow pitch tournament to allow a home run derby on Friday, August 9th from 9 to 1 p.m. on Saturday, August 10th, um, and music and live bands at the pavilion on Saturday, August oh, let's type of that. So it's August 9th, and then uh, Saturday the 10th, um, there'll be music in the live band, and on Sunday um, during the day, the, the ball tournament will continue. Is there anybody here to speak to this issue? <clears throat> okay, so I'll open the public hearing to be closed. Um, we have no delegations this evening, so I'll move on to the question period. Yes. Joe Wigmoski, 476 Pollock Street. Under section 239, meetings open to the public. In the open meeting section five, Ontario Municipal Act, the state of that a meeting shall not be closed to the public during the taking of the vote. During the June 18th council meeting, an in camera meeting was called. The meeting was delayed for six minutes. The CEO was having a personal conversation with the member of the gallery. Once the public vacated the meeting, I waited on the bench outside, not 20 feet away from the council chamber door. The door was open by the reporting secretary in the immediate process. To try to enter the room as quickly as possible. Even at my age, I can easily cover 20 feet in less than 10 seconds. As I approached the open door, all I heard was all in favor, and then motion passed. As I read the meeting, uh, minutes in the July 9th today's agenda, I discovered the motion made to Council City as a board of directors for the Economic Development Board. No one in the public sector, excluding those in special privilege, knew this sir. development. Can you ask your question, please? I'm, you're allowed there. To, I'm just yes, you're allowed two statements and then your question, please. Not a whole long, I'm, I'm long so preamble. Statements. Two sentences, not a long preamble, please. Ask okay. Question. This is the third time this has happened. Will the chair adhere to section 239, section 5, and ensure the public has at least a minimal chance of being presented present during the mandatory public vote? A waiting of one or two minutes is not unacceptable. I will accept that. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, okay, so uh, before we go into the consent agenda, under section 22 of the procedural bylaw, we have um, an add on to go into section G4. Uh, it is an in camera item, uh, and it is with respect to uh, potential litigation. So, is there any objection to that? Uh, yes, did you have another question? I will just give me a second to finish this up. Uh, so, is there any problem with the add on with the in camera? Yeah, like I said, it was respect with respect to potential litigation and legal matter. Okay, I don't see any objections to that, so we'll consider that added on. Um, I will return to uh, the question for you momentarily. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Ron Leach. Uh, item G5 in the agenda states the council accepts the council accepts the associated risks associated with not hiring a building inspector to assist the chief building official at recommending. And I don't know about anybody else here, but I assure you this is big camera. If I'm going to Listen to these guys, the council, and tell me that they're going to take a risk, they're going to accept the risk, then they better accept it. Am I to assume the council will accept a lawsuit and pay all costs on their own, the building inspector could not, for a good reason, do the inspection on time, which would interfere with construction company scheduling for their project? Like holidays or sick leave, who's going to be in this place? And I think that needs to be addressed properly. Uh, I'm not sure if you're expecting an answer to that, but no, I'm not. 
that is something that's going to come up in the discussion and that I need to talk to the um, Okay, any further questions? Then we will go on to the consent agenda. Is there anything else that we will Okay, so we'll go to the end. By Council Mala, second by Council Lukasiki, it resolved that items A1 to F3 inclusive contained in part one consent agenda be adopted. Okay, so item A1 is the adoption of minutes, uh, special meeting of Council of June 18th, 2019. A2 is the regular meeting of Council of June 25th, uh, 2019. Okay, we have uh, one boarding committee report, and that's uh, item B1 committee meeting of June 25th. There are no matters arising from the June 25th meeting. Okay, so item B1 is the adoption of minutes of the June 25th meeting of Council of June 25th, 2019. Okay, we have one boarding committee report, and that's uh, item B1 committee meeting of June 25th. There are no matters arising from the June 25th meeting of Council of June 25th, 2019. Okay, we have one boarding committee report, and that's uh, item B1 committee meeting of June 25th, 2019. Okay, we have one boarding committee report, and that's uh, item B1 committee meeting of June 25th, 2019. Okay, we have one boarding committee report, and that's any comments or questions? Okay, public health, Sudbury, and district meeting minutes of June 20th, 2019. And Manitoulin, Sudbury, district services will be minutes of June 20th, 2019. Yes. I do have a question on the fire department report. Uh, Interdepartmental, it's a review and tour of the new fire hall construction site with the building committee. I'd just like to know what the building committee was and who was on the building committee. I don't have to get that now, but information for later, please. Sorry, I didn't hear that last part. Don't need it right now, but just oh. information that okay. is brought forward. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or comments? Okay, so we'll go and for future reference, as I get to that one, put your hand up and make a motion so I don't go by it. Trying to catch everybody as we go through. Um, okay, so I have a, a motion. Uh, items A1 to have the inclusive containing part one consent agenda be adopted. All in favor? Okay, that motion is carried. Okay, now we're moving to our regular agenda. Item G1 by Councillor Bernal Stein, second by Councillor Ducasi. It resolved that uh, Council hereby authorizes a temporary exemption from certain provisions of noise bylaw 1189 96 during the 2019 annual slow pitch tournament at the Red McCarthy Athletic Fields, Friday, August 9, 2019, from 9 until 1 a.m., host home, a home run derby, and Saturday, August 10, <coughs> from 8 p.m. to 12 to 2 a.m., to hold an outdoor dance with a live band. At the Red McCarthy Athletic Field Pavilion, provided adequate security is provided, and all rules and legislation is adhered to. Okay, I'll open up the floor for discussion. Okay, seeing none, I'll just uh, call the vote. Uh, all in favor? Okay, that motion is carried. Item G2, moved by Councillor Ducasi, seconded by Councillor Van Alstein. It resolved that bylaw 2928-19, being a deeming bylaw for law consolidation of PIN 73408-0344, rule 11-05200, Algoma Street, and PIN 73408-0356, rule number 11-05300-140, Algoma Street, Canada. Okay, I'll open the floor to discussion. Okay, seeing no comments, I'll call the vote. Call the mayor. Motion is carried. Okay, next item is item G3. Uh, so this item is for direction only. Uh, there has been a request from the 100th Anniversary Celebration Committee for the, the uh, ABLs to um, donate the value of a tent rental fee as well as maybe a permit fee of $104. So I would like to open the floor for discussion on this item. 
Councilor Moore, you went to the last meeting. Yes, I did. Would you like to speak to that? I think that uh, this would uh, show good uh, support for an institution that's been here for 100 years. I'm all in favor of uh, moving forward on Okay. Any other comments? I guess we're looking for direction. I'm in favor of uh, providing me uh, that as well. Okay. We have two more head nods. So, yes. I'll be right up there. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, I'm Jim Council Foster Beat resolved with Council Donate one thousand ninety four dollars forty four cents to the ABL's one hundredth anniversary celebration committee for tent rental fee and permit fee. Okay, we've already had the discussion, so let's just call the vote. All in favor? Okay, that has been carried. Okay, so we do have a, a motion to go in camera and be moved by uh, Councilor Dukowski, seconded by Councilor Van Alstein. We resolve that under section, uh, sorry, under authority of section 26.123 of bylaw number 26208. Council goes uh, into an in camera session for the purpose stated in 239 Code 2 of the Municipal Act. Personal matters about an identifiable individual, including municipal or local board employees and litigation or potential litigation, including matters before administrative tribunals affecting municipality or local boards. Uh, the time is 7.13 uh, p.m. All in favor? Okay, and what we are going to do is we are going to move ourselves downstairs. So if you wish to stay here, you may stay here. We're going to be downstairs for the camera. 